the question is any point is you can come and ask me for any rupees from 1 rupees to 1023 rupees and i should be able to give you from any rupees from 1 to 1023 just by picking up certain number of bags so one way of doing it is one rupee in each bag one rupee in each bag one thousand twenty three bags it's quite possible if someone asks 10 rupees they give 10 bags 15 rupees 15 bags but the problem is this is the answer of maximum number of bags needed we need what is the minimum number of bags needed So how to do it? So one concept we have seen, if we add 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 up to 2 raised to n, summation is next power of 2. So based on that, if I put 1 rupee in one bag and 2 rupee in other bag, first bag 1 rupee, second bag 2 rupee. So what we can give is 1 rupee, 2 rupees and 3 rupees by combining them. As we know 1 plus 2 we can give anything up to next power of 2 minus 1. So in next bag I am going to keep 4 rupees. In the third bag I keep 4 rupees. So now what we can give is 1, 2, 3 using this bag 4. Combining the two of them 5. Combining these two, six, seven. So, one, two, and four. I can give anything up to next power of two. That is, eight minus one, seven. So, concept is we keep powers of two in first bag one rupee, second bag two rupees, third bag four rupees, fourth bag eight. Next bag 16, next bag 32, next bag 64, next bag 128, going on, next bag 256. If we have to add now up till now, 1 plus 2 plus 4 up to 256. Next power of 2 is 512 minus 1. Still not at this one, so next bag we keep 512 rupees. And if we add up to that, we will get next power 1024 minus 1. Concept is we keep on putting powers of 2 in each bag. Simply in first bag we are going to put 1 rupee, second bag 2 rupees, third bag 4, fourth bag 8 rupees, fifth bag 16, next bag 32, next bag 64, next bag 128. 256 and 512. Summation of this is next power of 2. That's what we have seen. If we add up powers of 2, we get summation is next power of 2 minus 1. So up to 512, summation is going to be anything we will be able to give. Why we did this is if we add powers of 2, we get anything up to the next power minus 1. So if we add 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8, if we add 1 and 2, we get 1 rupee, 2 rupee and 3. So next bag we keep 4. Adding them, we can give anything up to 7 rupees, next power 8 minus 1. Adding them, we can give anything up to 15 rupees, next bag 16 going on. So 10 bags will be needed in all. In this question, had it been any rupees from 1 rupee to 100 rupees, what we would have done in first bag 1, second bag 2, third bag 4, fourth bag 8, fifth bag 16. Up till now, summation is next power 32 minus 1. Up till now, summation is 31. So, in next bag, I will keep 32. 
So up till now summation is up till now summation is next power 64 minus 163. Now in next bag I can keep up to 64, but total rupees we had is only 100. Out of which 63 are already gone. 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32. Up till this 63 rupees are gone. So next bag we can keep 64. But total is only 100 rupees, so in next bag we will keep 37 remaining. Repeat. If we have got only from 1 rupees to 100 rupees anything, and only 100 rupees we have got, first bag 1, second bag 2, third bag 4, fourth bag 8, fifth bag 16, sixth bag 32. Up till now, summation we got 32, 2 is our 64 minus 163. So in next bag out of 100 63 is gone so remaining is 37. So next bag we keep 37 rupees. Total will become 100. So simple concept how many bags if it's from 1 to 100 rupees number of bags 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 bags. So simply up to the summation till the time it crosses so we needed 7 bags in the previous question we needed to give up to 1023 rupees so how many bags 4, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th in all 10 bags 